What's up, Insiders? Deuces Jack. I'm at VapingInsider.com, and today I got an interesting little sub ohm tank for you. We're talking about the Vaptio. It's the Grampus. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a Grampus is. I don't know what it has to do with vaping. Before we get into the video, a couple of days ago, we hit 25,000 subs. We're giving you a huge giveaway. We're going to have five, yes, count them, five separate prizes, and there's going to be eight winners in total. So make sure you go over to our Facebook group and you join up over there because the giveaway is going to be over there. Let's check out the Grampus tank. I'm kind of digging like that diamond cut coil while it's inside the tank. Kind of neat looking. I like that. All right. They got that whole diamond cut theme going throughout the whole tank. Got some nice texture on the bottom as well. That's kind of cool. 810 smoke style drip tip, right? With the O-rings on the outside. All right. We've, we've all seen that before. This is a screw top cap right there. Boom. Comes right off. Nice big juice ports. Kidney bean shaped. Big recession so you don't make a mess. I like that a lot. Top cap goes on. Eh, it's not one of those half a twist ones. Threading's a little crunchy, but it's not terrible. Bottom, triple airflow on this one. Whatever you adjust on one, of course, will happen on the other two. Again, I do like this little roughness on the base. On the bottom of the Atomize, you can see, designed by Vaptio, Grampus, gold-plated 510, insulator ring around that, stainless steel threading around that. Oh, Vaptio, you're listening. I like that. Check that out. Two spare O-rings and a spare bubble. Big, big pro. Here's the spare coil. Good for 60 to 75 watts. Best at 65 to 70 watts. Check that out, man. That's a pretty big mesh coil in there. I'm kind of digging that. It's got one of those tight mesh coils in there. Probably going to give you good flavor because it's got a lot of surface area. Let's see what this coil looks like that's pre-installed. I'm going to pop it open. Lots of threading, man. There's a lot of threading on that. I'm going to have to take the coil out. By the way, this little bit of roughness also gives you a nice grip while you're taking the coil out. I definitely like that. This is the Grampus A1 coil, same one that I just showed you. So you get two coils in the kit, and they're the same exact coil. Let's put this coil back in, make sure it's nice and tight. Again, that little bit of diamonding there gives you a nice, you can get a nice grip on it and really screw it down. Now, juice we're going to be trying today is Freeman's Cocoa Cane. This stuff is kind of interesting, man. I just dripped some of it because I wanted to see how it was. And it's a crunchy cookie and coconut. It kind of reminded me of a Girl Scout Samoa cookie. You know what I mean? Without the caramel. I didn't taste the caramel when I dripped it. But I want to put this in the sub ohm tank and see how it does. So the first thing we want to do, we want to get some juice on that coil. Get it all around. This is a dark juice, so this is probably going to be a coil killer. Get some juice in those wicking slots right there. Get it all nice and primed up. Maybe put a little more on the inside there. Get it nice and saturated. Now we're going to take our primed up coil. We're going to put it on there. We're going to screw it on. Make sure everything's nice and tight, just like so. Now we're going to take our top fill right there. We're going to pop it off, and we're going to take our juice bottle. And we're just going to give it a big squeeze, man. Just let that coconut cookie get all up in there. Let me put a little juice around the edge there. Just so when we screw it on, it goes on a little smoother. Now we're going to put our top cap back on. We'll screw it right down just like that. Nice and tight. And now we're going to pop our drip tip back in there. And there it is, all filled up and ready to vape. All right, insiders, let's go after those cons and pros. First con is going to be Vaptio. I like the fact that you put two coils in the kit, but they can't be two of the same coils, especially if you have other coils available. You got to put two different coils in the kit. It's a con. I could understand if you only had one coil for this tank, then by all means, put two of them in there. But if you got a single, a double, and a triple... 
Give me a single and a double. Give me a double and a triple. Do something different so I can try both coils out and maybe I'll order both coils. Now I, I've only tried one, so if I like that one, I'm probably going to stick with it. I'm not going to look at the other two. It's a con. And the last con is going to be the coil availability. The coils themselves are fantastic. The problem is I don't know any other coil that fits in this tank. I tried a bunch of other ones that look similar. They did not fit. So, you know, obviously I didn't try every coil out there in the sub-ohm category because I don't have every coil. But the popular ones that I had that I thought might look like they fit, they don't fit. So it looks like it's a proprietary coil. If that's the case, that's a huge con. Vaptio doesn't exactly have the greatest distribution. Not sure if you're going to be able to get coils for this tank three, four, five, six months down the road. So if you are going to buy this tank for any particular reason, make sure you stock up on coils just so you're safe. But that's it. That's it on the cons. Nothing really too crazy, man. Real nitpicky stuff. Let's move on to the pros because we do have a lot of pros. First pro is going to be you airflow hogs are going to love this tank. This thing's got triple bottom airflow and it's basically wide open. So the people that like massive airflow, this is your type of tank. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I got all three open right now. Not much restriction, man. Not much restriction at all. I mean, you're basically breathing through this tank. It's pretty wide open. And while we're up here, it's got really good flavor and clouds. The clouds are fantastic. The flavor is actually fully saturated. Man, it got cloudy down here quick, right? It's just a really, really nice flavorful vape. All the juices that I know really well taste very accurate in here. That 810 drip tip, they didn't go with a proprietary one. That's awesome. That's a pro. Coil longevity has definitely been a pro. So far, I'm on about a dozen fill-ups, and you just saw me vape on that coil. No significant loss of flavor or vapor production. That's a pro. Huge fill ports. I love it. Nice build quality on this one, especially considering it's Vaptio. Vaptio is normally on the, you know, I wouldn't say they got bad build quality, but they're definitely on the lower end of the spectrum. This is a little bit, uh, you know, they're, they're playing a little out of their league with this one. This build quality is actually really nice on this tank, considering it's a Vaptio tank. You do get two coils in the kit. Even though they're two of the same, it's still a pro. Bone dry, man. This tank's been bone dry. I get no leaks whatsoever. Been one of the driest bottom airflow sub-ohm tanks I ever used. Not even any condensation. It's been dry. And the last pro is going to be Vaptio was smart enough to put in a spare bubble glass. Thank you, Vaptio. I love it. Awesome, awesome job. So that's it, insiders. Those are my cons and pros. Let's talk about this one a little bit. I got to tell you, man, despite the, the, the weird name, the Grampus name, this thing actually performs really well. You know, the clouds, the flavor, they're definitely there. It's definitely a better than average sub-ohm tank. That's for sure. I'm getting a really nice, warm, saturated, full-flavored vape on it. Definitely towards the, the, the end of the spectrum where the better sub-ohm tanks are. You know, it's not, it's not a top 5 sub-ohm tank. It could arguably be a top 10. That's how good the flavor and the clouds are. I actually like it a lot. It might get edged out. If it's a top 10, it's going to be near the end of that part of the spectrum. But it's a really, really nice flavorful tank that I've been enjoying. My only concern is... Are you going to be able to get coils 90 days from now, 180 days from now? I don't know. That's something, that, that risk factor, you're going to have to weigh that out for yourself. Let's go over some of the specs on the Vaptio Grampus Sub-Ohm Tank. It's 25.4 millimeters in diameter. It is 53.5 millimeters high from the 510 to the drip tip. It has a 5 ml capacity. You get two 0.17 ohm coils in the kit that are good for 60 to 75 watts. There's also a 0.22 ohm dual mesh coil, good for 60 to 80 watts. And there's a 0.15 triple mesh coil, good for 60 to 90 watts. Both of those coils are a separate purchase. It's available in rainbow, black, gunmetal, gold, and silver. Want to give a huge shout out to Vaptio for sending this one my way for review. 
Definitely appreciate the support of the channel. Don't forget, insiders, we got to fight. We got to fight for our right to vape. Don't let up. Call all your legislators. Email them. Tweet at them. You see them in the neighborhood? Get in their grill. Let them know that you vape and you vote, and you will not go down without a fight. If you want to keep up on all the latest news in the vaping industry, make sure you head on over to our Facebook group. It's a very active group. We're always talking about all the latest developments when it comes to vaping and advocacy. It's a drama-free zone. Go on over there and check it out. We're going to have a link down below. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You make sure you keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.